Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome to a quick redstone video on how to build my latest game in Minecraft. This is Bullseye. The point of Bullseye is to try and hit the Bullseye <laughs> on the target block right behind me uh, before your opponents and the first to five Bullseyes, that is the first to hit the Bullseye five times, will win the game. So yeah, let me show you how this game works here. Um, so basically we have a little archery range set up. You can see we have little different slots for people to stand in and shoot the uh, the target up there. See if I can get a good shot in here. Nope, missed. One more. Nope, missed again. One more time. Come on, right? Third time's charm. Yeah, there we go. You can see I registered a hit right there and some lamps lit up. Um, but that's because the game is not quite on yet. So um, basically, right now, the archery range we have here is in practice mode. So you can practice and try and hit the bullseye uh, however you want to. And it'll, it'll show up on three lamps. And then the lamps will uh, turn off again. All right, so that's practice mode, but let's actually start the game and see how this thing will work. So all we got to do is pull the lever to start the game. So pull it, and the game is now started. Uh, so now, whenever somebody shoots the target and hits the bullseye like that, see, yeah, you get points, and the points stay up now. So if I shoot this one and get the bullseye, there we go. If I shoot it again and actually hit the bullseye this time, there we go. Yep, more points, and if I hit it again, more points still. And so now, yeah, you'll presumably have, you know, some archers back here shooting at the various targets, uh, whichever one they selected. Uh, and then once somebody hits the bullseye five times, so let's see if we can get this one. That was a miss. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five. Yep, there we go. So you see a firework went off up there, a brown firework, and all the targets get covered once somebody reaches... Uh, five bullseyes. So this person has one. The bell also rang. As you heard, there was a little chime uh, that happened as well. And so, yeah, all the scores are now frozen, and the entire thing is now locked down. So, you know, you can't shoot the target block anymore because there's a stair in front of it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, once you determine who's won and who got second and third and fourth, um, then you can come up here, turn this off, and you see all the scores get reset. Once that happens... Flick the lever down again, and you can start playing again uh, just as normal. So, yeah, that is how the game works. So it's first to five bullseyes, and yeah, this thing is pretty robust. It actually is super compact, and there's not a whole lot of redstone to it. This is the entirety of the redstone uh, you see back here. And some of this stuff, like this stuff up here, is not even strictly necessary. It's just an extra bell and whistle. Um, same thing with this here and... The bell's in front. Literally a bell and whistle in the front here. But um, yeah, that is the entirety of the uh, whole build. Uh, very survival friendly and very compact, honestly. So I'm going to show you guys how to build this right now. All right, so on to the tutorial now. So first thing we're going to do here is build up the front scoreboard portion. So this is what you see right here. Uh, so we're going to come over here. We're going to pick our midpoint. Our midpoint, I'm going to say, is going to be right here. This will be the dead center of... The archery range we're making so there's that uh, and we're going to then place down some andesite and we're going to put our lever on this andesite with a lamp on top so this is the lever that's going to control everything ultimately um, so there's that and now we're going to build up the uh, each module now you have to decide how many you want i'm going to build four so there's the crimson wood right there and then we'll have andesite on this block uh, we'll go with the jungle wood on the next one and on the fourth block, we'll put andesite down. And then on this other side here, we just need, you know, we'll have warp stairs right here. And then we'll have andesite right here. And then, of course, we probably want spruce on this far side right here, followed by andesite right there. Very good. Okay, so that's that. Uh, next up, we need to place down our target blocks. So our target blocks are going to go catty corner to the middle block here so just one block back and one block up from there and we do that for all of these so I'll just place one there place one here place one here and if you had more modules you would put more down uh, as well uh, then we just go ahead and put down our blocks around this so just like this and then across the top like so and then same thing for all the other uh, sections here you just place your planks down like this and then get out your stairs and place those across the top like that all right 
And then, of course, keep building up the andesite as you go along, uh, like so. And then, of course, the jungle planks, of course. We'll put this down like this, like that, and like so. And then, same thing with the spruce over here. Uh, if we have our spruce out, let's go ahead and grab the spruce planks. And we'll do this up, over, and like so. Very good. Okay, great. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to place down our bells. Our bells are going to go on the right side here, on the right, and on the left side here, on the left. These are just additional things. You don't necessarily have to have this, but I like them. Um, so then, next thing we want to do is just simply come up to the top. We're going to build up the facade of all these. So, basically, you want to have your wood frame in your lamps, and you need 15 lamps. Uh, starting on this block right here, so the block directly above the uh, target right there. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. And then we'll just bring up our wood on the side here, like so. And then we'll also bring up the andesite here in the front like this. There we have it. Okay. And we'll do the same thing on this side like this, and then just basically do the same thing for each of the modules here. So after building each module up, you should have something that looks somewhat like this, and now we're going to actually do the wiring for the scoreboard. So we're going to come to the back side here, and in the dead center where you have your uh, block your levers on, you're going to want to place a slab that is out like this, and we're going to put a cake down on this. This cake is what's going to determine uh, exactly how precise we have to be. Uh, so I'm going to actually eat one slice of cake. So you can see it says cake bites one on the right hand side there. Uh, that's critical if you want it to be exactly like uh, mine over there. You could make this so that uh, you know you have like a lever there so you have to get the exact bullseye but that becomes very limiting. So we're going with the cake with one bite there. Uh, then we need a block on each side like so. Comparator right here and right here. Then we'll have a block block over here, another comparator like this, and right here. Uh, now we need those to go into a dropper. So our dropper is going to be right here, and I'm going to actually put in five non-stackable items into the dropper, and we'll get this dropper out like so, and we'll have five non-stackable items in this dropper right here as well. Um, and yeah, that is that. So now we need a hopper going into here, and a hopper going into here. Next we need a block behind the hopper and a block behind this hopper right here. We need a comparator coming out of it right there. That's going to go into a block uh, which will be right there and another one there. Then we'll need another block behind this with another comparator here and a comparator here. And then we're also going to want to uh, basically have a comparator leading out of this dropper here and we'll have a observer facing back like that. And that's basically going to be what activates the bell on this side. And then on this side we'll have the exact same thing. So comparator leading out of here with a observer right here. And this will activate the bell which is right there. So that's that. Alright, so from this point we're going to do the sides now. So the sides are similar to this except they don't share a cake. Um, so basically we want a block here, cake on it, eat the cake once, place a block here, place a redstone comparator in this way, block here, comparator in the back, and then we just basically repeat this thing, so we'll have a dropper right here, make sure you have five non-stackable items in there, hopper right here, then we need a block uh, right here with the comparator on it, it's going to go into a block there, and then another block here with the comparator on it, just like so. Um, and then we need on this side a comparator coming out this direction and of course we need a observer right there and that's going to activate that bell uh, whenever this dropper is empty. Then just the same thing on this side except uh, reversed. So again, block here, cake, eat it once, block here, need a comparator, another block, another comparator. Get our dropper out, face it out this direction, hopper right here, block behind it with a comparator reading out of the hopper. It's going to go into a block and another 
Comparator right there. Very good. Okay. And then, we, of course, we need the bell activation. So we'll just have Comparator here. And then Observer right there. So at this point, you should have something that looks like this. And now it's time to hook up the lever uh, to these hoppers. And also, you don't need this block right there. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go ahead and hook up the lever to the hoppers to lock them. So, basically, we're going to come out here. Place a dust right there on top of that block. Come over one, down one. Place down a dust right here. That's why we put the half slab uh, right here for the, for the cake. Uh, then we come down another block here. Out one block, just like so. Come down another block. Come out on either side, like this. Place down a repeater here. Repeater here. That's going to go into a block. And a block on this side as well. Next up, we need a torch. So let's grab one of those. Redstone torch here, redstone torch here. Block on top, block on top. And then we'll have redstone torch here and redstone torch right there. Uh, now we're going to continue this uh, down this way. So I'm going to come out here and we want to go underneath the hopper right there. Fantastic. So we'll have a couple of dust like so. Going into a block right here. So torch, block, torch so it ends up right underneath the hopper and then same thing on this other side over here so we'll come out like this three dust down like this and then we have torch block torch there we go so whenever we flick the lever on this side now bada boom should see all the torches underneath the hoppers uh, now turn on which is exactly what we see fantastic all right, on to hooking up the lamps. The lamps come on in a way that three lamps light up for every time you hit the bullseye. So that's the key thing to keep in mind. So we're going to put down a redstone dust right here. Then we will go up with a uh, slab like this and a slab like this. And they do need to be slabs. We'll have a slab here and a slab here. Place down dust here and here. Place a repeater right here then a dust right here. So that's the first set of three lamps uh, wired up. Next, we'll keep going up here. So we'll have a slab here, have a slab here, and a slab right there. And then we'll have this come over like so. So the next three lamps will be here. Um, so we'll need, let's see, if we go one, two, three, that'll be one. One, two, three, that'll be two. And then we have a repeater two dust and that should be that so that one is now wired up uh, next we keep going up in the same fashion so we'll have slab here slab here and a slab right there so again one two three blocks up just like that although we probably want to have this on this side so let's actually have this come out here to make it a little smaller. There we go. So just like that. So one, two, three blocks. Third block will be here. And then we need a repeater and a dust right there. Very nice. Okay. So that's three, six, nine. So we need two more of these. So let's go up two more like this. There's one, two, and three right there. So we'll draw this over here. So that'll put us at 12. So there's one, two, three. Repeater here. Dust here. And we need just one more. So let's go up like so. There's one. There's two. And there's going to be three right there. So that should end up right like that. Very nice. So one, two, three, repeater here, dust here, and that's it. So yeah, that is the pattern right there. So yeah, just repeat that pattern for every module. So your system will look like this now. And a good way to test out that you've done this wiring correctly here is to basically come to the front, flick this lever down, and then make sure every time you hit the bullseye that three lamps light up. So there's three there. And it goes to six lamps, nine lamps, 12 lamps, 
and 15 lamps. So, and also the bell rings uh, when you hit 15. So, that's a good way to test it out and make sure that happens for every one of your modules. Um, and then once you flick the lever off, all the lamps should return to normal. Very nice. Um, so, now the final important component we need is to place down a piston underneath all these so that whenever somebody hits five bullseyes, the pistons will push up the stair, locking the target. So, we need ourselves a sticky piston. And we're going to put a sticky piston beneath the stair in the middle of uh, where each module is. So just like this, put one here, put one down here, put one down there, and then cover it up with the stairs again, just like so. Then we'll come on to the back here, and we basically want the condition, the wind condition to activate um, from these comparators. So whenever this comparator receives a signal strength of 15, that's when somebody's hit the bullseye five times. Um, so we need a signal strength of 14 to compare it to. So we're going to build a thing like this, and then up like so. Place down redstone here, here, and here. Lever here, turn it on, and there's our comparison. So we're comparing uh, 14 to whatever comes in the back of this uh, block right here. So that should work. Um, and now we just need to hook up these blocks here in front of the comparators to the pistons. So uh, the way we're going to do that is we're going to come down here. Going to have another block come out here and here. Make a huge line over like this. And over on this side here. Place down a block like that. Place down a block like that. We'll need another block here and another block here. Uh, and then we'll come out on this side like this. Come up like this and over like so. Dust here and here, lever there, so that's this side comparison done. And then on this side, the same thing, except just uh, reversed, so up like this and over. So here and here, lever like that, and there's our comparison done. So now we just need to make the entire line. It's going to go down like this. Last essential thing we need to hook up this redstone dust line to the pistons over here. So let's do that. So we're going to bring a line down like this. I'm going to run it across here, and we're going to run this just right into the block next to that piston. Then we'll come out here and run it into the block next to this piston. Uh, then we'll have redstone dust on all these blocks, except the block right next to uh, this torch tower, because if we did that, this would actually activate the piston, so we don't want that, so we need a redstone repeater uh, right down there. Uh, so that's that side hooked up, and now we just need the other side over here hooked up. So we're just going to do the exact same thing. So come down here underneath get rid of that block we're going to run this over like so and this will go over here into that block next to that piston and then this one goes like so and then again redstone on every block except for the one right next to this block so just like that and repeater like that and that should be all we need by the way, just a quick note, uh, if you want to add more modules, so right now we have four modules, uh, but if you're adding like six or so, uh, you will need to add a ne another repeater right here. Uh, so one right there and one right here. But since we're using only four modules, we can get away with just the uh, redstone dust here and here. So yeah, just be aware of that. Uh, that might come into play if you add in uh, more than just these four modules here. So at this point, your machine is now playable, and yeah, everything is now working that is essential. Uh, but I'm going to add in a chime for when somebody wins, and also some fireworks, uh, because fireworks are awesome. So yeah, what I'm going to do to add those things, I'm going to just come up here on the side a little bit. Uh, so with a slab here, and a slab right here. There we go, it's right there. So we'll have dust here, and dust here. Uh, next, we're going to have a another slab down here. We'll have a repeater going in here. And then we'll need a block right here, a full block. Uh, it's going to have dust on it. And then the same thing over here. So a block right there with dust on it. There we go. And we're going to put down uh, some gold here, like this. And then no blocks. And tune them however you want to. There we go. So that will now play a chime whenever somebody plays or hits a uh, five bullseye. And then we're going to have another block right here. And we'll have a dispenser with fireworks facing out this way. Just like that. So we've got fireworks already in there. 
And then same thing on this side, we'll just have another block here, dispenser right there, and that'll shoot out fireworks uh, in this direction horizontally uh, whenever uh, somebody gets five bullseye. So that's pretty much it, guys. So then you just simply do the same thing on the other uh, modules. So we'll just have, you know, a dust coming up here, repeater right here. Then we'll have a block up like this with the dust. We'll have our gold blocks here or whatever other block, note blocks here. Tune those up however you want to. Then a block here. And then finally our fireworks right there with the fireworks on the inside and then just simply close this off however you want to just remember that it fires straight out horizontally and then we'll just maybe cover this up like so on the top there we go beautiful and then we'll just you know fill in the rest of the decoration so maybe we bring this across like so bring this like this and that like that and there we go that should be the whole thing done fully functioning let's just go ahead and test it out one more time Test out this one over here, let's say. So we just hit this a bunch of times. There we go. Yep, we heard the chime and we heard the firework and saw the firework go up off uh, on the top right there. So there you have it. That's how to build Bullseye, the fun survival archery game. Uh, we're using target blocks and some of the new 116 mechanics. Uh, the only other thing I might uh, say to consider is you might consider taking this lever and actually wiring it up so that it's actually back where you are shooting from. So like, if you're shooting from here, you might consider putting the lever right here so you can turn the game on and off without having to go back and forth uh, to the scoreboard every time. But it's personal preference where you want to keep it. Uh, I'm just going to keep it right here for now. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this brief look at the Bullseye minigame, and hopefully you guys uh, build it in your survival world. Anyways, for now, that's it for me. Thanks again for watching, guys. This has been Cub. Goodbye.